Breaking news, Nandi Kano. Despite the fact you think you've arrested him, you can't stop what is coming. Pastor Giwa warns Buhari. Hello, my wonderful people. Since the, I mean, the, the revelation that um, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nandi Kano, has been arrested, you know, um, there's been a kind of like calmness unnecessary i mean or how do you want to say it it kind of feels like oh maybe there is no way forward nandi kano the leader of the indigenous people of biafra has been captured so is that the end of the agitation of the breakaway of the evils from nigeria what exactly is happening so these are some of the questions that has been lingering in the hearts of people i guess i want to assume that some of his followers you know, at this time, we'll be, you know, we'll be, not be sure of what exactly next to do. But Pastor Giwa is warning President Muhammad Buhari that although Nandi Kano has been captured, yes, but you cannot stand what is coming. What is coming cannot be stopped by you. It's bigger than you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Nandi Kano. You can't stop what is coming. Pastor Giwa warns Buhari. The senior pastor of Awakening the Second Coming of Christ Ministry, Adewale Giwa, has said that President Muhammad Buhari can't stop what is coming. Pastor Giwa made the remark, why warning that Buhari cannot scare anybody with the arrest of Kano. He wondered why Boko Haram terrorists have not been arrested, yet Nandi Kano, leader of the indigenous bull of Biafra, IPOB, was picked up. In a statement he forwarded to Daily Post, the clergy accused Buhari of pampering Fulani bandits while celebrating arrest of sectionists. According to Pastor Giwa, why must you celebrate the arrest of someone who wants freedom from his people and pampering Fulani and bandits who are killing people and committing atrocities, raping, murder, asking for ransom, and a lot more. This is ridiculous and injustice. Let me quickly warn President Muhammad Buhari to tread cautiously because the world is watching. Criminal Fulani headsmen are moving freely while innocent citizens are incarcerated because they ask for freedom. You cannot use the arrest of someone to scare the people, millions of Nigerians who are ready to part ways. They are tired of the administration of the All Progressive Congress led by you, President Muhammad Buhari. Please deal with it. Your kinsmen terrorizing the people instead of trying to persecute the, innoc persecute the innocent. You cannot suppress the voice of the people. Impossible. If you have done well, I don't see any reason why the majority of Nigerians want to part ways. Do you think you have power to stop what is coming? Think very closely. You don't have that power. What, at what price did you meet a bag of rice? How about cement, gari, petroleum, and other food items? You have made a situation worse for Nigerians. And you think Nigerians are happy with you and want to stay in one Nigeria? Think again. You could be making a huge mistake. These are many of the reasons why Nigerians want out. Nigerians are tired and want out because you have not done well. If you have done well, you would have seen the difference in the leadership and the disposition of the people towards you. So my people, Naso, my so the TMB, can't you just imagine, you know, uh, people are calling for section and guess what? They've turned it to something else, you know. So, my people, this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Uh, why criminals, real criminals, are left to roam free? Guess what? Others are being apprehended and made to face the wrath of the law. Why criminals, those who are asking for ransom, that they know where they are? Yes, they know where they are. Have you not heard that Gumi goes to meet them? They discuss. They have their very wonderful time together. Does anybody, you mean, does anybody speak? No. Does anybody go to say, who are these people? Why are they there? And why did you hold this book captive? No. Does Nigerian government make any effort? No. But right now, what do Nigerian government do? They chase after the innocent people. 
That's what they've been doing. They chase after innocent people and they want to make life unbearable for Nigerians who are genuinely, you know, wanting a difference, want life to be better. These are the people they are chasing after. These are the people they are, that, that, you know, that's the new enemy, you know. So this is what is going on. The real people who are committing crimes, they go scot free. Why those who says we want freedom are the new criminals in Nigeria? So when you look at it, you begin to wonder within yourself, are we really in the right place? And why can the Nigerian government, why can't they just sit down and have a roundtable discussion with the people of Nigeria instead of, you know, all this call and what they continue to do, oppression in the land and all that they continue to do? Why do they do that? Why do they allow people, allow lives you know, to be to be to be put aside, destroyed. It is it is very unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. This is what you know Nigerians continue to cry for. It is very unfortunate. That's why we need to, you know, we need to stand up for what we believe. Because whether you like it or not, these people want to keep people's head bound down, you know, but we're not going to allow it. No way, no way. We're not going to allow that to happen. We have a duty to ensure that our voices are heard. We have a duty to ensure that, you know, we, 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 we state our position without fear or favor. Because right now, there is oppression in the land. There is intimidation to, you know, to make people quick, afraid, and stay in one corner and cannot be, you know, cannot, cannot raise up their head. It's called the spirit of intimidation. It's called the spirit of oppression. But where Nigerians are able to stand and say no, we refuse this scam. We refuse it. Then people can adequately stand together and, you know, defend their cause. The real reason why people want out is because of the non-performance of this government, which continue to stare everyone in the face. Nigerians are saying enough is enough. We are tired. We cannot continue, you know, in line with what is going on. We want out. We want out. Enough is enough. Do you blame the people? I don't. I don't blame anybody because uh, right now all that is going on is a clear indication that, you know, things are not going well. Things are not going well, you know. We, we need to really rise up and tell, tell it as it is without fear or favor. We really need to make it, we really need to let the world know that this is not right. This is not right. Things need to change. And that's why we all need to stand together as one. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.